Okay, so this is how things get a little interesting. Um, it's a chief drawing there, and I've got um, all these corbels that are along this edge right here, and I need to duplicate those over here. So I've been drawing them in AutoCAD um, along this edge, and as you can see, when I go in AutoCAD, I've got this piece that I just kind of stretch it down in a straight line until I find <clears throat> where I want it. And then I look at the measurement and that says 37 foot, 7 and 3 16 So I want it somewhere in that area. Um, I'm going to drop one more here because this is where things change. There's a, a roof overhang difference here. Um, but before I do that, I'm just going to drop the last couple that appear down here. This one looks like it's um, had some wear and tear. So I'm going to kind of average it out a little bit. So we're looking at 109. It says 109 and 3, oh, there we go. Yeah, 109 and 316, so we'll just bump that up to 109 and a quarter, or I can go down to 109 and eighth. I try to stay away from 16 in any of my work. Um, it's like a little longer, too. That's kind of a weird, I wonder if that might be a downspout. We'll find out later when we go into recap. I'm going to show you that in a minute because that's how I'm going to figure this out. 109, but... And let's just make it 0.25. <clears throat> um, and so it dropped one there. <clears throat> I come back, I see a ghost of one here. I could check another slice and see what I got, but I'm going to drop one here because I think it's pretty close. So I got 105, one and a half. So 105 feet, 1 1.5 inches. Drop one there. And then at this end of the spectrum, well, again, it's it's kind of ghosty. It's kind of hard to see exactly what I have. So I've got to look at other things to, to figure it out. Um, but you can see that there's like kind of like a centerpiece on each of these. So let's, let's drop one here for the fun of it. Um, wow, that's a weird... It gave me a weird... It's giving me a polar reading. I don't know why. At that location only. I go just past it, and it's fine. I go back, it's not. <clears throat> there we go. 97, 11, and 7 eighths. An eighth is okay with me. So, 97 feet. What is it? 11 and 7 eighths. Oops, missed the splash. And enter. So that dropped one there. And I could go back through all these, but we're going to take care of that after we kind of build something that makes sense for what is this shape. You know, I, I got to go to recap, kind of look at it. So I want to put one on each end. So this one's 30 foot, 37 foot, 7 and 7 eighths. So 30 foot, 7 and 7 eighths. Enter. <clears throat> okay, we got one on each end. Let's figure out this middle stuff in a minute. Um... It's just plan view. It's only in 2D. <clears throat> and it's just kind of helping me to... I can import this later into my other model. So I'm going to hit save. And so now I'm out of the command. But you can see where this transition is. This, this change that's going on right here. And so recap, I believe, is right underneath my AutoCAD. So I should be able to just switch. Nope, it's on the other screen. Okay, so we'll turn off 49 inch. Let's go over here. And this is that wall. Um, so I can kind of look around <clears throat> and see what I can tell from here. Not a lot. So let's pop into this guy and see what we get. <clears throat> so over here, let's spin around and I can see that I've got, looks like, outer two outer two by material with that inner profile that's very similar to the op to the shorter ones but um, obviously longer and then just braced at about a two-thirds point along here and with the section cuts that Ryan has given me I can actually model that and we'll throw that in once we get it modeled we'll, we'll create these exact elements and throw them in there um, <clears throat> but for now, what I'm after is how does this roof work? And what I had done prior on this model, if I go to my perspective overview, 
<clears throat> got to go to my orbit camera, take a look around, and you can see I got this to blend in. Now, Chief's got some fussiness to it, and I've got to figure out what's going on. Um, but basically, I've got some sort of like drywall thing or some sort of weird finish coming underneath it and it's underneath but it is definitely part of that roof it's got thickness to it I'm feeling it's the way that I've got this roof set up structurally so it's projecting that way down there when in reality that's just not the way that roof is built <clears throat> so let's take a look at the roof let's see what we got so we can get that fixed so I'm going to hit the space bar to get us out of that so I can select an object. The object is that roof. If I double click on it, it'll open up my dialog box. And let's check the structure. Okay, so I've got a rafter spacing of 24. I've got a maximum lookout spacing of 48. And none of that matters. Um, we're not going to be using the auto frame in this case because nothing is really standard in these old buildings. So um, if I'm looking for things like this, here's my structure. I got nine and a quarter inch depth. Well, let's, let's not make that true because that, that's just huge. Um, I'm going to take it way down. This probably, mm, let's make it five and a half. Let's see what happens at five and a half. Let's say, okay. Let's say, okay, here <clears throat> and see if that fixed it. It did not. So I'm not sure why this ceiling, it's called a ceiling plane in some, some instances. So let's see what else we can look at. Um, it's blending in at about the right spot. So I'm pretty happy there. Uh, vertical structure depth. Yeah, it went to five and a half-ish. And overhang from baseline, that's just the the length of the overhang, it's a plumb cut. Then, what have I got? Look out, Eve subfascia. Is it five and a half? The ridge, well, it doesn't really have a ridge, but this is general framing stuff, so this won't necessarily apply to this roof. Okay, Eve subfascia, five and a half. Gable fascia, that is a fascia stuff. I'm not dealing with the fascia. I'm wondering what's going on underneath. Use room ceiling finish. Okay, it's using the finish. What if I just turn that off? What happens? What happens? No, that didn't fix it. There's still something there. So, I wanted to have a material that, that looks like what's inside. So, using the finish is just a finish. Um, after tails, ridge caps. I'm really just not sure. Soffit. My soffit's white. So where is my soffit defined? How can I come up with how to fix that? need to find out where the soffit is defined for its depth. Because that's what's causing this issue. Now we're mostly in concerned with the interior for something I'm trying to get done for the, the project owner for, for this upcoming weekend. So I'm probably not going to spend too long on this. If I can't figure it out, then um, I'll come back to that later to get these exterior renders to look really nice. Um, and I'll have this video to send off to Chief and see if they can, they can help me along. Although it's getting to be a long video. What are we looking at here? I have got uh, almost 10 minutes, so they may not have the patience for that. But um, So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just abandon that piece right now. And you kind of know what my problem is. Um, you've seen what I have been doing in this. Um, so let's take a look at how I would analyze what I'm looking at here by going to 
um, my recap. And this may be interesting to the guys at Chief. We'll find out. So my recap photo. <clears throat> um, now, I may have to do a little more looking around and come back to this. So let me pause the video for a minute. And I'm going to figure out how I took the section cuts because recap I'm not real familiar with yet. All right, just to bring you up to speed, um, this little fly out here with an orbit tool gives you some, oh, it's not gonna be, well, the instructions are there, but this is really cool because you can actually, you know, orbit around, I can see stuff. But um, I think the best solution for me <clears throat> in this case is to actually go to one of Ryan's slices because when he slices, it's perfectly straight across and I just need to find, because he did so many slices, a slice that occurs in this area where these longer pieces are being generated and um, get that figured out, get the geometry figured out, and then get that into my CAD. Um, maybe model it up in the model this actual corbel. So I can just drop them into place. Not sure what I'm doing with the ceiling thing yet, but hopefully Chief will get back to me on that. So we'll send this video in to them, and uh, hopefully they'll help us out. So I'm going to go into one of his slices. Once I get that open and ready to go, I will uh, create a new video.